A local man is now on a mission to keep veterans' graves clean across the area. Maxine Stryker shares his story. Most mornings start the same. For 67-year-old Keith DeWitt. Good to go. He packs his truck and hits the road. This is perfect. He's off to a peaceful office. Got a good day for cutting grass today, trimming. Where most days, he's the only living soul around. Ready to crank her up? In cemeteries throughout the region, Sorry. Keith spends his time searching I found one. for veterans' graves. I, I call it the uh, Veteran Clean Pot Project, something I just made up. Once he finds one. Born in 43, died in 79, so didn't see any, didn't know action, but he's still a vet. <laughs> he cleans it up. Who would have thought? Trimming grass and pulling weeds, Wolford. making it shine. I remember that name, Wolford. Wolford Hall is the name of the Air Force Hospital down at Lackland Air Force Base. While the Vietnam people came in, yeah, Wolford, I found him. One by one, he keeps track of each and every veteran he finds. He was a Purple Heart. It doesn't take much time. Less than a minute. But it does take passion. Nobody's doing it. Somebody's got to do it. I mean, I got a gentleman back over here, Purple Heart, Vietnam. I saw no action at all. And the only action I saw was the beach in Guam. A veteran himself. Uh, I joined the Air Force in 1970. Keith knows he was one of the lucky ones. A kid I went to high school with and grew up with is still in Vietnam, missing. Who made it home. I was one of the fortunate veterans that never served in combat. So with that fortune. Just do what we can do, one, one stone at a time. He gives back. I ask myself, why am I still here? That's my wife, why am I still here? And finds meaning in life. Maybe that's why, why he keeps me out of here, I don't know, I don't know. And death. Well, I enjoy it. It's my therapy. In Baltimore, Maxine Stryker, Fox 45 News. Well, Keith, we're told, has been in touch with the families of those veterans' graves that he cleans up. He says they're always thankful for what he does.